Hello everybody and welcome to Advanced Maths. Today we're looking at angles in parallel lines. And there's three rules I want you to remember for angles in parallel lines. The first one is just for when two lines are crossing, the angles opposite are the same. So vertically opposite angles are the same. Got two, these two green angles here are exactly the same and these two orange angles are the same as well. And it doesn't matter what angle we're at, they'll always be the same. Okay? The next uh, rule is about corresponding angles. And so we have two parallel lines like this. The arrows here show that they're parallel. The matching arrows show that they're parallel. And we get a line crossing through them. The corresponding angles will look like this. They can also look like this, or like this, or like this. And because of this, the uh, we get an F shape. And so lots of people remember this as F angles. Now, the orange angles are the same as well for the exact same reason. And that's called corresponding angles. Okay? Finally, we have alternate angles like this. Two parallel lines and a line crossing. Got these two angles will be the same as well. Again, they're the same, doesn't matter what angle they're at. Or over here, just like that. Those are alternate angles and they will always be the same size. Similarly, the orange angles are the same for the same reason. And people sometimes call it Z angles because it looks a little bit like a Z. Okay, so we have vertically opposite angles, corresponding angles, and alternate angles. So let's see how we can use this to find missing angles. I've got this here, and I want to find this angle here, this X angle here. And I've got 126 degrees labeled here, and 150 degrees labeled here. Well, first, I know that the 126 forms a, a set of alternate angles with this one over here. So this angle over here is also 126 degrees. Okay. Now the 150 is on a straight line with this angle. So these two angles here will add up to 180. So that missing angle must be 30 degrees there. Okay. Now uh, I've got a triangle now, this triangle here. And this triangle must add up to 180 degrees because the angles in triangles add up to 180 degrees. So therefore, the, these three angles, 126, 30, and x, must add up to 180. You can put that in an equation like this, equal to 180. The 30 and 126 combine to make 156 degrees. And I take 156 degrees off both sides. And I get that x is equal to 24 degrees. And that's the final answer. Okay. Now, I've got this for you here. And what I'd like to do is look at this carefully and find all the missing angles. This, 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 all of these, and these. You can do this by uh, just knowing the 45 and the 55. So you have to find a total of um, 12 angles, I can see there. So pause the video now, it's going to take you a few minutes, and try this yourself using the rules we learned today. Okay? Uh, when you're ready, you can uh, press play, and I'll reveal the answers in 3, 2, 1. There we go. Uh, did you get it right? If you made a mistake, you might need to re-watch the video one more time. Thank you for watching today's video with Advanced Maths. If you enjoyed it, uh, feel free to share and subscribe for more videos. If you have any ideas for future videos, please email me or comment below uh, so I can uh, make some new videos for you in future. Thank you and good luck in your exams.